Welcome to this fugitive uh, permadev series for No Man's Sky. And we're currently stood in the cockpit of the crash ship that I discovered right at the end of the previous video. And in this part, we're going to have to set about trying to fix it, but a little bit more about that in a little while. Now, the first thing I want to mention is that I, I took a look at the when I loaded the game in and it took me a, nine hours, 46 minutes of wandering across this planet to find the, this starship. Uh, I must admit that I don't think I've spent that amount of time walking across the planet since back in the early days of 2016 when No Man's Sky was first released. And then it, it was a bit of a thing to walk, actually walk all the way around the planets. It's, it's something I've rarely done since, but it's been an interesting exercise. And as I said, in this part, what I want to do is start trying to fix the ship up simply because we need to free up some slots. What I've done is I've transferred over all the various upgrades that we've um, been able to get. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a couple to free up some space. Uh, I can't put that in there. That's not free. Okay, um, we'll cancel that. I don't want that one. Starship shield module. We could probably install that and put that underneath there when that's fixed. Although we're going to need some chromatic metal. I think we got a pulse engine updrive, which we could put there. That's about it, I think. <laughs> so all I've been able to do is put in two tech upgrades. We're going to need to try and fix some of this stuff. And just to go through and just talk about it, I mean, fixing this should be relatively straightforward. We can make the hermetic still. Can't make the steel plate. We might as well get that underway. Where is it? Um, my strategy is going to be just literally trying to find the various um, bits and pieces and plug them in as I go along. Uh, let's just have a look through here. Platinum we can find in space. Uh, chromatic metal, we've got copper on this planet. Uh, wiring looms are going to be a bit of a challenge. What we could do is take apart some of these old techs. That might be an option. Uh, either that or we're going to have to find a trader. And that's probably a good segue into saying a big thank you for your comments and feedback. As usual, you guys pointed out um, some very interesting things, like the problem I had with the trader. It seems that the often what after happens is if the trader lands on um, uneven ground, the it drop the trader drops underground. So I've got a feeling that I, if I encounter any traders uh, on this planet, they're all going to drop underground. So we're going to have to go to a, a planet that's a bit more level. But probably probably more realistically, we're probably going to have more chance of encountering traders once we're actually up in space. So that's another thing to go through. Now, I did get a question about using the trade terminals. And uh, I agree with the sentiment that strictly I was bending the rules a little bit. But I was just bending the rules in order to earn the money to have the option to buy a ship from a trader, which didn't work anyway. But going forward now, I won't be using those terminals anymore because we we'll, would we'll be able to deal directly with the traders. So that's something else that uh, we're kind of going to work around going forward. But... Uh, that's the way it is. We'll just see how things go. Right, let's just have a look through here. So we need wiring looms, chromatic metal. Uh, I think we can get that one. I've been picking up random gold. So we could probably... So I think probably in, for the next couple of parts, we're going to spend a bit of time walking across the planet and see if we can pick up some random gold. Uh, chromatic metal is obviously a big one. Chlorine, we would have to travel to a planet that's got salt on it. Uh, platinum is quite a big thing, really. Uh, see here dioxide there is dioxide on this planet so we'll be able to clear those off and again pure ferrite gold so I think we're probably going to need to mine out a lot of copper and one thing I do want to do is, is again as somebody pointed out in the comments uh, we need to interrogate the distress beacons because it's the distress beacons that will give us um, tech, uh, search for signs of life, discover the ship, ship's technology blueprint. I think that's what we want. And, and what they actually said was is that these tech slots actually follow a specific path. So what we're going to have to also have to do is search for ships. I think I picked up these. I do want 
I think the first thing we're going to do is a bit, let's see if we can find some copper. Um, where is it? Got some damaged machinery up there. Oh, there's got to be some copper around here somewhere. Uh, let me just see. Magnetized ferrite. Magnetized ferrite. Magnetized ferrite. Do we actually need magnetized ferrite? Let's get back in the ship. I think. Was it magnetized ferrite? Yeah, we got magnetized ferrite. So we can go mine some whole clodge of magnetized ferrite. That would be a good start. It doesn't require refining either. But what I will do first is we'll go up and get that tech up there. So what we're going to do is kind of work around the area and see what we can find and collect because I've got space in my inventory now. And uh, get rid of that and grab that. We've got some nanites. Right, well, that's only 150 units away. So we've also got that's a minor settlement. I think there's an unknown settlement around here somewhere as well. Can't oh, need that. We need a train manipulator. Um, that's magnetized ferrite. What am I on about? <laughs> Not very big, is it? Uh, but oh no, it's a bit bigger underground. But well. But we will pick these modules up. Okay, we need to keep an eye on our environmental protection. Pick this up. That's about it. I think I would like uh, so we can get some ferrite dust. I think it's also Snafu who suggested that I need to start collecting the rusted material, metal. And I think now I've got the capacity to store things, I think I will be doing a little bit more of that as well. Uh, right, I think we should get into here we can metal plates and we'll just get back into the ship uh, okay get that repaired uh, this needs pure ferrite we can make some of that platinum okay where's the where's the um Right, I'm just gonna so we got the first parts of that done. Okay, we don't have enough magnetized ferrite. I think what we will do is jump out, deploy the there. Put some it's carbon in. Have we got ferrite dust? Okay. Uh, get that going. Let's have a look round. We got There's got to be some copper round here somewhere. So this is a buried cache there. What's that? The drop pod we've already been to, because I'm pretty sure that's the drop pod that we were visiting. Uh, Another magnetized ferrite deposit down there. Actually, I want copper. There's got to be some copper around here somewhere. Magnetized ferrite deposit. Right, there's dioxide down there, 461. You can go and get some dioxides. Get that done. Uh, let's do get. 
Um, we need some dihydrogen as well. Might as well pick this up while we're at it. Yeah, thank you, game. I think there's a requirement for... Okay, we still need a bit more dioxide. Uh -huh. Right. Um, I think I'm going to... Oops, it's a bit more dihydrogen. Why did I say dioxide? Uh, another one we're going to need to look for is a terminal where we can uh, turn off the uh, sentinels because we need to get pugnium and of course a big source of pugnium is killing sentinels but I don't really want to go down that path just yet uh, but what I do want is that dioxide so uh Let's get here. Hello. Yes, thank you, game. That's uh, about most of it. There's a bit more down there. Grab that. Um. All right, dust. A little bit of. Uh, okay, grab that while we're here. Using the scanners a bit more kind of vital now, so we're uh, just just clear the whole area. Oops. Got to keep that going. Right, let's, get, let's kind of work our way back towards the ship. Right, we've got geode. Somebody did post a comment about where it was worth doing the geodes. I think they are, uh, especially now that I've got the possibility of space. Right, we've got the beginnings of some chromatic metal here. So, uh, pick up some of this as well. Because, of course, in permadeath, you actually... Right, let's just get back to the ship. Uh, grab these as well on the way through. Uh, some more, a little bit more sodium there. Of course, we can't forget collecting some carbon because, of course, we're doing a lot more mining now. So we're going to go through uh, carbon as well. Actually, just keep hitting these. I know we're not going to get that much in the way of chromatic metal because it's the, the secondary sub source is always quite small. So you're not going to get. Oh, that's right, let's just get up. We get back to the ship for a bit. Okay, there's the ship. Yeah, we should be okay. Take a that. <laughs> Right, we've got... Where's the dioxides? Not sure. There it is. That gives us 
That will play that. That will give us that space there. Your ferrite, paraffinium, chromatic metal, we got five. Wow. Right. Chromatic uh, metal. We need a hundred chromatic metal. What really do with moving that there. Clearing this space up. It's gonna be a bit tricky fitting things in to the ship, isn't it? Uh and we got thirty-five. Somebody did say that there are issues with the refiner as well. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we don't need all that lot. That that can go. Um, keep the dioxide for the moment. Did one of these, one of these actually needs microprocessors? Which one's that? No, we've, oh, we've, we've, right, we've got that done. That means I can don't have to worry about the microprocessors anymore. Right, what I will do is. Uh, the microprocessors in the oops <laughs> starship right how much of the what we got back in the ship so that we don't get coal yes thank you game you are infuriating me a little bit right we need that uh, we need a hydrogen jelly that will right so we've now got a pulse engine uh, we need tritium and pyrite for that we've got this is fully charged we need chromatic metal um, okay Um, we need piles of chromatic metal. Look at that. <laughs> Look and thou shalt find. Big problem is that we there's not some major deposits around here. So Maybe if the ship is fixed, we can move to another location. But I want to fully exploit whatever's available in this area first. Get rid of that. We can't really refine that. Man, no nights. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's barely anything, isn't it? We're gonna need a lot more than that. I think we've got everything out of there. Anything, any more copper around? Magnetized ferrite. Magnetized ferrite. Don't need the dioxide. <laughs> All this time looking at. Uh... Okay. Let's see. Uh, Where's that? This unknown building, 440 that way. Oh, go away. Oops. Right, let's just. Did I unpack this? Uh, yeah, thank you, Jake. Just let this build up a little bit. Got 121 copper. This is 60 copper. I'm going to go and check out this unknown building. And just see if there's anything else down in this area we've got. Buried cash there. We'll go and dig this up. 
Might as well. Um, hello. Oops, no. Find a way in. Oops. I've <laughs> got a suspicious movement module. Only trouble is I've got nowhere to put it. Right. Um, oh. Go away. I've got a less... I'm not less tolerant of you guys there now. This should give us the... Uh, rusted metal now. All we got down here is a day point. That's not going to be much use, is it? Um, let's look round. Right, we got. A very technology module over there. We'll go and get that. Uh, oops. Grab this. Yep. Thank you, game. Right, back to the ship. One last push. <laughs> back in for a recharge. Right, we've got the suspicious protection module. Now we've got these double shields. We've got this. I'm just wondering. If I dismantle this. That gives us some ammonia. Now, if we install this in the wrong place, but um, store the technology, put it there. Um, whoops. I pick you up, move you there. If I install you there, that would give us a proximity boost. That gives us a bit more jetpack efficiency, uh, sprint recovery time, initial boost. So that's quite useful. That gives us, we've got two salvage, we've got one uh, wiring loom. Okay. Hey. Um, got a little bit of that. Put that in there. Um, bit more dense carbon in there. Get that done. Is there, do I have, right, we got enough. I want to repair that because that is just absolutely annoying. That stops that horrible noise working. Means that when we get in the ship now, it's nice and quiet. <laughs> um, okay. I think we can use up the dioxide. Yeah, I think I'll use the dioxide up because we don't need it as such now. Anything else around here we can use? I thought I'd been to that building, but that's okay. Um. There's another copper deposit this way. We'll go and get that. Let's go. That shadow on the 
on the planet. That's awesome. One thing I really like about No Man's Sky, and I know I've said it many times before, but when I've had a really bad day and I'm kind of feeling a bit, you say, uptight or stressed, uh, No Man's Sky has always been my game to go to just to relax and chill, not play it for any specific purpose. And what I would often do is quite literally just go out and do what I'm doing now, just wandering around as a scent. Oh, I'll go away. I'll just go out and just wander around the planet for a you know, half hour or an hour. And it's just fun just to do it, not you know have any specific objective or play gameplay as such. It's just wandering around. Oops. Kind of picking things up, just looking at things. And I think it's quite awesome actually. Anyway, right, where's that copper deposit? There it is over there. I think we'll turn the salvage data into nanites. Um, uh, my, oops. Just, whoops. Nearly got to remember that. I'm not on the most friendliest of planets, so. Uh, is that it? That was a little bit over, just over there. Um, just here. And we're just going to have to walk all the way back again. <laughs> um, so it's installed the teleporter. <laughs> um, game, I... Game, I... Oh, can you unpin that for me? Please stop annoying me. We've got no space to install the teleporter at the moment. We've got some slightly higher priorities. Uh, definitely going to need a better multi tool. Got some of this on the way through as well. We've done that one. Yeah, we've done the one on the top of the hill. Okay, we're out of zap. We're out of get up and go. <laughs> uh, what that? Cover that. Where's the copper? We've got 223 copper. Pop that in there. That. Uh, 75, 2 to 1, okay. Back in the ship. Uh, what else? Right, I don't think we can. We need to repair, get that. Uh, I don't think we can repair anything else just yet. No, I'm going to wait for that. Paraffinium, chlorine. Looks like we need more magnetized ferrite. Okay. Um. Right, there's some more magnetized ferrite over there. I mean, I know I could make some, but um, actually, I think I might make it. Actually, it's a bit far away, so we're going to have a little bit of a a mining session, I think. 
Let me just get over here. We got some. If I put in that there, start producing the pure ferrite. I mean, it's going to require a lot of. Uh... Right, we need that repaired. That means uh, we're going to need to make some warp fuel. <laughs> That would be good. Not in particularly that important at the moment. Um, we need a lot more chromatic metal and uh, gold. Ship is fully fueled. Okay. I think we're going to change areas. Uh, let's just see. Okay. going to convert this just to save the space. Let's finish doing what it needs to do. Uh, pick that up. <coughs> pick this up. Back in the ship. That's what we got here. That's all repaired. Right, we've got 125 pure fare right there. Repair that. Right, so we've got that there. We need this refined. I think what I'm going to do now is, I mean, it wouldn't be fair not to take the ship off. Um... We'll flip to third person. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to fly across the surface and see if we can find any anything of interest that might be there. I mean, another crash ship would be fantastic. Though I don't think we don't want it. We can't land on the platform. We'll make that mistake. What I'm looking for is possibly a large deposit of copper. If not, we'll just fly across the surface until we get to a new area which we can work through. We're just I know I can shoot resources from the air, but I don't really want to do that unless I have to. Okay, we've had enough time to just relax, so what I'm going to do is see if we can find a landing place where we can pick up some more. Oh, look what I've just seen. <laughs> Hopefully this is one that we haven't been to before. Nelly, Nelly flew past it by accident. Um, oh, look at that. That's brilliant. Stadium. Right, we're going to make a man nanotube. Wow, this is full up. Okay. Um, we're going to... Got a bit too carried away. What we're going to do is convert that into nanites. Uh, we need right we need ferrite dust Aha. Um. here they go uh, mr. annoyance oh. yes I know you're there um. I think there's a cave over here if we go into the cave we well, haven't got to get far away from these the sentinels to be able to mine a little bit uh, we're gonna need some pop the mining beam up 
Where's the mining beam? Uh, I think we're going to use the magnetic ferrite. Oops. Some resources here. Uh, we'll certainly take the There it is. Temperature That's silver. Ah. Oops, no. Just top that up with some. While we're here, what we'll do is we'll just make uh, uh, some of these. Pick up some cobalt. Okay. What have we got here? What's causing the problem? Uh, oh, that's platinum and silver. We've got platinum. Okay. I'm looking for platinum. Um, we cannot build okay routes. Just looking round, is that just a rare item? Let me just see. Bolt and silver. Okay, I've been looking around here for quite some time and I found a tiny amount of gold and uh, don't need the silver, we don't need the cobalt, and that's about it. So, um, and I'm kind of got myself lost as well. So, uh, we're gonna just gonna just blast our way back up to the surface and find the ship. There it is down there. Yeah, I got a little bit lost underground. But, okay. Yeah, thank you, game. So, what I need to be able to do is... Oh, ha! Used up all my ferrite dust that I collected. That's okay, we can... I think I've got some... Get rid of you. That give us 150 ferrite dust. So get back in the ship because I'm not sure if I've got enough platinum yet. Got 27 gold, then which would do that. We need chromatic metal. Got the pure ferrites. Where's the platinum? It's chromatic metal there. We've still got the chlorine to do wiring loom. I'm sure where was the platinum? There we've got 24 out of 50. So if I could find a little bit more platinum, we could fix that. Uh, we could what else have I got in here? Don't really want to throw these away, so but we can't use them just at the moment, so we'll send that. And that to the starship and we're actually put that in the starship as well okay we'll just get that <coughs> make that get, get that uh, where to put it? Part of it. I'd like to kind of group this together uh, a bit more efficiently, but I think we're upgrade that bit because there's an extra slot. Uh, 
Okay, that's still going. Let's have a look around here. Very mineral humming sack, not really interested in that. Not interested in the dioxide. Some copper would be nice game. Very cash down there, 220 odd units away. We'll go to that. We still got to stay on message with the caches and the damaged machinery because we still want those upgrades. So uh, let's grab that. Grab this. Got a broken visualizer. Okay. Uh, let's use some. So do nitrate for that. Right, now game. This is where I could do with some... Got some pure ferrite. <laughs> oh, go away. And enough of you. Anything else around here? There's a cargo drop down there. We'll go and get that. Uh, okay, we'll just go and grab this. Ammunition. Nothing found. Knowledge stone over there. Very minimal min mineral. Right, I think I might have walked past a cargo drop on the way here, so we'll go and pick that up on the way back as well. Uh, got here. Keep that. 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 Let's pick up some. In dense carbon as well. Can't use that because we need the uh, tools. Just pick that up. Oops. Did I check round here? No, I didn't. Okay, a bit of a fail there. In back into the ship. Right, I'm aware that I'm running out of time on this video, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of look around what we've got. Um, we need to refine this. Um, just put the dioxide in there. Use up some sodium. Right, we've got some gold. We need to refine that. We've got that. We've got some salvage data. Right. Um, I've got all right dust. I'm gonna get rid of that. Oops, refine that very quickly. I think nanites are going to be more important than cash at the moment simply because the nanites uh, can be traded for tech upgrades once we find a road trader or a pirate system anyway this is where I'm going to leave it I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it interesting what I will do off camera is sort this mess out a little bit see if I can get some more of this stuff repaired I might go back in the cave and see if I can find some more gold and platinum because if I can get a couple of these unlocked it would make quite a big difference. Uh, also uh, see if I can find any copper in this area. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.